That wake up jab against Vega just feels like you already stunned him. I missed a punish there, but he tried to slide out for some reason there. I don't know, maybe he thought I was going to do like a regular jump in, but nah, I got V-Trigger, bruh. I'm going random. You bugging. Yo, 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 what is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Punk, back with another video. And today we are going to Punk Reacts because we are going to be taking you across the pond today because you know what I'm saying? I went all the way across to Birmingham, Europe and entered a tournament called Versus Fighting X and we end up winning Street Fighter. So, you know, decided why not bring y'all video going through my thoughts when I was in the grand finals of the tournament and, and you know, just taking y'all through the whole match and process. So without further ado, I need you to go like, comment, subscribe and turn on the post notification and let's get into it. Boom. Thumbnail. You know, when it started, I decided to pick Nikali, which honestly, I think this matchup is very weird for Nikali. I've not been able to do well in it yet, but I wanted to play it because I'm always doing bad in it when I play it. And I had two sets to play, so I'm like, let me try out Nikali. I knew if I lost some games, I would still have Cami there to just come and win because I just believe that matchup is very, very hard. So, and right here, he just scratching away at me. That's why I think this matchup is a bit weird because when Vega is in neutral, he can kind of just scratch away at the Sosmo and kind of hit the Sosmo on startup a lot of the time. And then just the power had really good confirms. Like right there, he did stand medium punch into stand jab combo. He had a lot of good confirms and to just stop Nikali and get damage that honestly, you don't really see other Vegas do. Got a whiff punish there. You see, Jesse Powers just walking forward and he's just keeping the pressure with seeing medium punch. And it's really hard for me to get out Sosmos a lot of the time. And right here is where the matchup is pretty good for Nikali. In V Trigger, you have the health lead. You just got to be careful about how you throw your Sosmos because Vega will be able to neutral jump into V Trigger. And that was an input error. I did not mean to do that there. I was very confused. A lot of good defense there from Jester Power. Trying to push him to the corner as early as possible while wasting the bar there. That way I could have a lot of space to back up and do Sosmos. Instead of having to stay in the mid-range where I keep getting poked out of all my Sosmos. I cannot believe I actually got hit by that. That's probably the first time I've ever gotten hit by that. But I honestly just wasn't thinking about it. Usually I'm thinking about it, but he definitely caught me completely off guard. And you see him dashing in. Yeah, that's why I stuck out the medium punch there because he's trying to catch me, make me whiff a Sosmo so he get a punish. And right there, he actually got the punish on the jumping and that did kill me. Yeah, the up Rose does so much damage now. And yeah, his interruptions have been so good in pressure. When Vega is supposed to be the his most weakest is kind of when Justin Power was, I feel like, his strongest in this matchup. And he tried to mix me up there. I don't know what that was. It honestly was not hard to block if that's what he thought. I'm not sure Justin Power thought that was like going to be a hard mix up, but it was not. And here I'm just smiling because I'm just like, like, damn, I'm about to just start jumping, bro. I'm like, yeah, I'm about to be a kid, bro. It's time. It's time to do it. I'm like, oh, this not working out. Yeah, it was El Footy time. I actually hit him with some El Footy. I don't think he was ready for that. I definitely hit him with a, I don't know, Jester Power might have thought that was an input error, but I definitely did full screen drill because I'm like, bruh, I kept, it's going to be a time where you see me just walk back slightly and you see him keep walking forward. And that was just me trying to, gauge when he liked to walk forward it's going to happen at i think it's the second the next game i would say with cammy i think had to let him know bro i couldn't believe i had missed that punish i was so confused because i don't feel like i did it late but that's what the game told me so but as soon as i got that wake up jab i was like yeah i got money it's money now that wake up jab against Vega just feels like you already stunned him. I missed the punish there, but he tried to slide out for some reason there. 
I don't know, maybe he thought I was going to do like a regular jump in, but nah, I got V-Trigger, bruh. I'm going random. You bugging. You see me doing this here is because this catches the medium punch, but his timing was pretty good. But it does catch the medium punch, but probably spamming it wasn't the best option, but that's what I like to do against Vega. We feeling good. Yeah, I, I tried to do that. I don't know why. I just thought that he would have moved forward because I whiffed it. But he actually just stood there and blocked. And I was like, oh, man, this dude's one of those. He actually trying to win this. Shim Shams. Jester Power didn't actually tech a lot versus Cammy, But when he did want to tech a lot of the times, I could kind of feel it. Right here, I mean, the matchup is pretty much over. It's so hard for Vega to approach Cammy because I could just jump at any moment with the health lead. And it's so unexpected. So you don't really know. And I got V-Trigger now, so I just activate so I can just... Oh, here we go. That's it right there. That's it. This is when I did it. Look, I just had the huge health lead. Look, you see me walk back. Watch. Look, you see me? And I was just looking at him move. He moved backwards. You, if you see him, he moves backwards. And then that's when I do the drill because I know when he moved backward, usually he just starts taking steps forward. So you see him move backwards and then now nah, I'm like, all right, yeah, it's time. El footies, let's do this thing in it. It's random, but it had some thought behind it. Like it's still random. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that that ain't random, but like I had thought behind it, but it was completely random. You see me, I'm just mashing press buttons all the time when i play cammy i don't really have much fear especially against vega i'm just doing my thing bro i missed the punish here i wanted to i wanted to kill him so bad with the stand medium punch confirm uh, ooh, 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 i'm playing jumping jacks i was practicing how to jump Ooh, i didn't even super i was just practicing how to jump Making sure my up button was working for Dragon Ball. Because, you know, you need to jump a lot in Dragon Ball. And I had Dragon Ball later in the day. So, I had to make sure my up button was working properly. I'm not going to lie. It was jump with putting some mileage. It put in a little bit of work. Just a little bit. You know what's funny? I don't think I've really woke up DP. But, just the power, I could sense how scared he was of Cammy and how I was playing. Cause I definitely was playing a bit crazy. Isn't I think the next round is a funny round with V shift. I think he tries to V shift like three times in a row or something. Look, you see again. Oh, I dropped the combo, but he didn't know how to punish. He, I don't think he knew how to get the punish there. I think with Vega, you gotta slide or you gotta do like stand medium punch. But without the without clawless, you don't get a huge punish. Cross cut, you already know the vibe, CJ. Triple dash, I was trying to get in there, bro. I smelt the set. I smelt the end of the set coming. Yo, your boy Nelly, thank you for the 18 months. I appreciate that. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at me. I'm practicing. I'm practicing my up. Playing a lot of neutral, am I? Look at that whiff punish. <laughs> and then he just let me. He actually woke up light kick, but... Bruh, I definitely did super. That low forward into drill there was low forward super. And then, you know, right here, when I was closing it out, I'm not going to lie. I thought of, I was like, yo, how do Americans win with Cammy? And this is how Dan Slip and Alex Myers, they're like our, I would say, our two premier Cammies in America that usually does pretty decent in tournaments. And this is how they used to close off matches with. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to close off the match in the most American way possible with Cammy. So I just went for the hooligan throw. You know what I'm saying? Had to shout out to America in the in the last moments of grand finals. I did that for America. That's the that's how we do the thing, in it? Yeah, that's pretty much with my thought process going into this grand finals right here. Had a very fun time in Birmingham in general. We got our nice little trophy to add to our collection. Though it is Luke and we just want to, you know what I'm saying? We can't punch a hole through it because it's not an actual pitcher. It's, you know, you hear that? So, can't really punch a hole through it. We'll just be 
making our fist bleed. So we got that nice trophy to add to our collection and we got a few other medals and other games that we got top eight in and overall, Versus fighting was a very good tournament, very fun tournament, and I do encourage people to give it a chance and try to go to it if you can. It is in Birmingham. Let me know what y'all thought of today's video and what if you thought of versus fighting. If you watched any other games over the weekend, what did you think of the tournament? And yeah, as always, let me know what you thought in the comment section, and I'll see you in the next one.